my thoughts on EDP's last video. I'm not going to, I'm not taking any shots at EDP at all in this video. Um, I don't ever really talk about his videos. Um, I watch all of his videos. I think he's obviously, he's obviously very, a very entertaining, um, YouTuber, but I have to say, I agree with a lot of the things that he said. Now, people have to realize something that whether EDP does the videos for money or does it for the fact that he's an actual Eagles fan, you can't deny the fact that he's not an actual Eagles fan. I mean, the guy knows his stuff. I mean, you probably can ask him anything and he'll probably know the answer when it comes to Eagle history more than most people that are Eagle fans. You know what I mean? So, EDP had a point in his video. I mean, I don't really know the situation that happened on Facebook or whatever. That, and it, But he has a point. The Eagle fan base over the years has become so out of control that he finally just stood up and said, hey, this is what's wrong with us. It's not the actual organization. But yes, you have to blame it a little bit on the organization. Yes, if we had, if we failed when it came to players, yes. If we failed when it came to draft picks, if we failed when it came to the front office and the head coaching and the, and the ownership and everything like that, yes. I mean, hiring Chip Kelly was the worst thing in the world for the Eagles at the time. But fans loved it because they were bringing a new style of offense to the Eagles. It was a breath of fresh air. And teams caught on to it so fast that we got blown back in the playoffs in his first year under Chip Kelly. So people need to just relax. People need to just get off get off of EDP's dick. Like, leave the guy alone. He's, I mean, I'm not... Trust me, I don't have to speak for him. I don't have to. The guy is very loud and boisterous. Like he, he knows what he's. You know, I mean, he knows what he's saying. He knows. Yes, he is very rambunctious and he does stupid things. But that's just who he is. Just like every other single person. You know what I mean? Just like anybody that's in the Philly Knights, whether it's me, Desert Eagle, Nitro Freak, Eagle Speed, um, Joey, Joey Shakes. Everybody is a different kind of person when it, when they're in front of a when they're in front of a camera. So, just the whole point is is just people are coming. People come at this guy's throat, and he doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, this is that's just from what I am. That's just from what I get. EDP doesn't care what anybody else thinks, and that's what's I, that's what I honestly like about him. Has he changed over the years since he started making videos? Yes, and that's just that just it, it, you watch. Any YouTuber, whether it's whether it's sports related, video game related, musical related, every single person changes. So why is why is EDP any different? But enough on that. But the whole point is is that as a fan base, we we how can you be proud of a of a team that hasn't made the playoffs in a number of years, hasn't had a starting quarterback, a, a, a surefire quarterback like McNabb, you know what I mean, besides Carson Wentz, okay, every, you know what I mean, Vic wasn't the answer, okay, Kevin Cobb wasn't the answer, okay, Nick Foles had a very, very good year, then he got hurt, okay, Mark Sanchez wasn't our answer, and Sam Bradford sure as heck wasn't our answer, so you know what I mean, we didn't, we never, we haven't had a solidified team in so long, and everyone's just, everyone thinks that, I mean, EDP has a point. Like ten and six, nine and seven, eight and eight. Though that's not good enough. Okay, it's not good enough. And am I happy? I mean, obviously, I'm happy to be an Eagles fan. I I love being an Eagles fan. I mean, they're of all the sports that I watch, the Eagles are the football is the most my most watched sport. I love football. I love it. Okay, if I if I'm able to watch football, I watch it all day Sunday. I don't care what game is on, I will watch it. I will watch every game on I'll watch the Monday night games. I'll watch the Thursday night games. 
I don't care how bad it is. I'll watch football because it's football. So, and and people are already coming at EDP saying that he's coming at every single Eagle, Eagle fan, and he's not. He's not at all coming at every single fan. He's coming at the specific ones that constantly just shit on the Philadelphia Eagles, okay? Regardless of if he does it or not, okay, he has a reason to. That's just how he is. He has his positive moments when he talks about them when we win. But the whole point of the video was, in my opinion, was the fact that we can't be proud of a team that goes 9-7 and seven or 8-8 eight and eight every year. We, we can't be proud of that. Okay, seven and nine is a horrible. Is horrible. Okay, that's horrible. You can't. You can't just expect to be a wild card contender and march your way through the playoffs. Okay, we're not the Green Bay Packers. Okay, we're not the Pittsburgh Steelers. We can't just do that. We're not. We don't have that kind of solidified team yet. One day we will. Yes, one day we'll get a Super Bowl ring and it's going to be great. But we have nothing to show for what we're doing. Okay. It just really irritates me that people are, that some people that say they're Eagle fans and then get mad about it when we lose, okay? I'm not happy when we, when we lose. I'm not happy at all. I hate losing. I hate it. I hate watching football on Sunday and we lose, we lose a game, okay? Last year, the season opener against the Browns, (laughs) I mean, that should be a guaranteed win. That should be a guaranteed blowout, and we we really skated by. If you really look at, if you really looked at it, okay, yes, the Pittsburgh win obviously was huge, okay, but the Steelers also didn't have Le'Veon Bell, okay. It would have been a lot different, okay. Um, the win against the Patriots. What does that matter, okay? What does that matter that we beat the Patriots in Foxborough? It doesn't matter, okay. I'm just, I'm glad that, I'm just glad that EDP finally came out and said, like, yo, like, we, our fan base just sucks, because it, it's true, our fan base really does suck when it comes to certain aspects, okay, and I definitely disagree with some of the stuff he says, I def, I disagree with some of my closest friends that are Eagles fans say all the time. The whole point is, is that represent your team no matter what and just be happy that you can watch a team on Sunday, okay? But the whole thing is, is that you want to reach that ultimate goal and it just sucks to be, it just sucks when you just keep failing every single year. It sucks. It's not fun anymore, okay? Me coming on here and making a YouTube video is not going to make myself feel any better about it. It's just that I'm talking because I'm venting. And you can you can sit there and criticize me all you want. I don't care. But at the same time, you do the same exact thing when you're in front of a camera. So what's the difference? But just, it is what it is. Be proud. Rep rep your team, enjoy watching football, be glad that we have it, and go birds.